naughty, so many to list. Let's start at the top and hope none get missed. First up is the skull, the most complex of bones. It plays home to your brain, I informed Roddy Jones. This part is the mandible, the bone in your jaw, moving your mouth when you chew, talk or gnaw. Down below to the torso, I'll tell you no fib. In your chest is a cage made of bones known as ribs. It's not easy to count them, believe me I've tried. 24 ribs, that's 12 at each side. They exist for a reason which I now will impart. The rib cage is home to your lungs and your heart. And there, in the middle, that bone's called the sternum. I'll name several others so that you too can learn them. The clavicles, those are the bones in your collar. I'll tell you some more if you lend me a dollar. The triangular bones on your back, what are they? Those are my shoulder blades or scapulae. And this series of bones joined up in a line. The vertebral column, backbone or spine. 33 vertebrae, just look at them all. The numbers are the same if you're short or you're tall. This arrangement of bones lets your back bend and twist. Can you tell me some more? Well, if you insist. The hip bone is large, they call it the pelvis. It tilts with your spine when you're dancing like Elvis. It's made up of several joint parts, Mr. Jones, like the sacrum, the coccyx, and both coxal bones. Now let's talk about leg bones, my fine friendly dreamer. The bone at the top is the thigh bone or femur. Notice the ball shape that forms the end section? It lets your leg move in almost every direction. It connects to the pelvis, I'm sure you can see. The thigh bone is angled from hip down to knee. On the subject of knees, this bone's a patella. Some call it a kneecap, you charming young fella. It protects the knee joint and acts like a shield. Should you kneel on a stone when you're crossing a field? find two more leg bones. I'll tell you their names if you like, Mr. Jones. The tibia bone is the one on your shin. The fibula, calf bone, is long but quite thin. They connect to the bones that we have in our feet, and they work very well when you walk down the street. There are three groups of foot bones, that's how it goes. The tarsus, metatarsus, and let's not forget toes. Wonderful bones with so many charms, and we've not even mentioned the bones in your arms. You mean that there's more? These bones are so numerous. The first of the bones in your arm is the humerus. It joins to two bones beneath your elbow. They call them the ulna and radius, you know. <laughs> Lastly, the hands, a cluster of bones called carpus, metacarpus, and phalanges, Mr. Jones. Thank you for telling me with all that you know, the names of your bones, from head down to toe. Just so you know, there are several more, but before I could tell him, he walked out the door. Yes, that's how it went when I met up with Roddy. I carefully listed the bones of the body. He learned all their names and I hope you did too. Respectfully yours, Pony Tony McGrew.